Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and ghouls, my name's Kevin and welcome to my channel, The Art of Horror. Today I'll be discussing the final episode of American Horror Story Apocalypse. This last episode brings us Jedi Mind Tricks, a congregation of some of the best hairstyles I have ever seen. And all the loose ends tied up, or are they? Episode 10, sadly the final episode, as I've really been enjoying this series. We see Myrtle the Witch use Jedi mind tricks to infiltrate the robotics lab. And this is where she sees all the relevant information she needs to know what their plans are to bring about the apocalypse. They must have had so much fun filming that with those three hairstyles in the same room at the same time. This finale was a really good episode and I enjoyed it very much. It had everything you could ask for. The witches undergo a ritual and invoke a spell to inject Mallory into Outpost 3 as a mole, wiping their memories and creating new identities as part of an elaborate plan. Madison, Cordelia and Myrtle have apparently hidden themselves underground to avoid the nuclear holocaust and have apparently been buried for over a year, possibly two years I think I heard. They emerge from their place of hiding and proceed to Outpost 3. Now here's the only part that I'm a bit disappointed about with this series is we didn't get to see more of the landscape of the apocalypse. I would have liked to have seen more uh, mutants or cannibals. What little we did see, there was a fog during these sequences and it didn't reveal very much. And to me that gives the whole show a almost on stage element, as if it was a theatrical play. And I see each episode almost as it's part of an anthology series where you don't have to have seen the whole show to enjoy an episode of it and they're almost a standalone story on their own. It's like they're standing alone and it's very episodic and yet there's a story threading all of these standalone stories together. The witches amass at Outpost 3 where they plan to confront Michael. From here things escalate very quickly and we see a fantastic display of telekinesis with heads popping and necks breaking and robots exploding. It's one of the coolest battles I have ever seen. I loved it. Ms. Made the robot unfortunately gets destroyed and Michael goes down in a hail of machine gun fire. But only temporarily it would seem. Michael resurrects and pops Madison's head like a balloon. And then continues to go on a witch killing spree, slowly stalking them all through the house. Mallory is fatally wounded when Michael stabs her in the stomach. Cordelia then gives her life so Mallory may live and Mallory travels back in time. Whereupon she hunts younger Michael before any of this has happened and uh, hunts him down in a four-wheel drive and runs him over and then reverses over him and then runs him over and reverses over him and so on and so forth. We then skip to the future and we see Timothy and Emily have gotten together and obviously there was a reason they were chosen to be housed at Outpost 3 as apparently they give birth to a new Antichrist, thus leaving the door open for more Antichristy shenanigans later on. So that's it, that's the end of American Horror Story Apocalypse. What did you guys think of this season? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? I could see how it's not everybody's cup of tea, and some people possibly wouldn't like uh, this, this series, but uh, I absolutely loved it myself. And I had a lot of fun watching it. Now that I've finished this series, I'll be moving on to some subscriber-suggested art. And uh, I have quite a backlog there to work through, so just bear with me and be patient. I'm going to try and work through everything, everybody's suggestions, uh, all the ones that are relevant to the channel anyway. And I've gotten some great suggestions. So if you have any suggestions and you'd like to see me... Uh, and you'd like to see me draw your ideas, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to have a look and see what I can do. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Kevin for The Art of Horror.
Until next time, goodbye from me.